Hey guys, Andrew here with Charged. We're at CES 2017 and we're taking a look at Ford's all new electric lineup. Yeah, right now our current lineup for electrified um, vehicles includes um, C Max, uh, Fusion, and our Focus Electric. In the C-Max and the Fusion, there's a full hybrid version and a plug-in hybrid version. This here is the C-Max plug-in hybrid. It has uh, 21 miles of range, uh, all electric range, and then it kind of switches into your full hybrid mode. Um, you can choose to deploy those 21 miles. Um, the automatic deployment is in, uh, as early in the trip as possible so that you get all the electrification, which will increase your um, or decrease your consumption of fuel. However, if your use case is such that uh, um, you want to deploy those those 21 miles later on, if you're going to spend, let's say, time in a city and you're going to you can spend like all day on a city in 20 miles, you can choose to deploy them later. It's our EV modes function, EV now, EV later. And of course, it's got Sync 3 in there, um, and so you've got all of your uh, your connectivity there. Specific to electrification, we've got. Um, uh, your charge settings in there so you can choose to charge what we call value charge charging on, on a schedule that better fits with discounts that your utility might offer you and part of that as well is um, your go time settings which allows you to say hey i'm leaving tomorrow at seven in the morning i want the car preconditioned so you can warm it up while it's on plug so you're not really trading comfort for miles the job of the vehicle once it's unplugged is just to maintain that desired temperature. So it's going to use less energy to do that. In the instrument cluster, there's a number of um, there's a number of screens that help you uh, get the most out of your electric range. So they they give you content or feedback on how you're driving and, and whether it's efficient or not. Um, one of the screens we have uh, is called Empower. It shows you the threshold at which point the engine will pull up. So a lot of folks who drive electric cars, um, it's important to them to try to stay in electric as much as possible. And so seeing where that threshold is becomes something that, uh, well, it's something that they've shown an interest in. We also have a screen called Engage, which just shows the separate power contributions from the electric side and the gas side. So it's some neat content in there. Over here, <clears throat> the Focus Electric. Um, all electric, as opposed to the plug-in hybrid we just talked about, has a, a range of around a, of more than 100 miles on a full charge. Um, that's just been up since it originally was introduced. We've done some efficiencies um, on the motors, but we've also the biggest change to, to up the range from 76 uh, miles is um, updating the battery chemistry. So. Um, it too has the same kind of features that I mentioned here where you can precondition and, and schedule your charges. It's got content in the cluster to, to, um, to help you get the most out of your range. Uh, similar to this, but an analogous version that would be more appropriate for a full electric. And um, yeah, other than that, other than the uniqueness of the powertrains inside the vehicles, you'll find that they're, um, you know, you're very, you're very familiar Ford sort of interface in terms of your, your creature comforts and stuff like that. Uh, the other big news is, you know, what's on, you know, this board here, right? Where we've just announced that um, for 2020, we're gonna have uh, our, our next all electric vehicle. It'll be a C-size SUV with a range of more than 300 miles. 2020 sounds like it's uh, a long time away, but we're ready 2017. So it's along with, uh, you know, we're starting to announce some of these other electrified vehicles, so maybe not full electric, but still significant electrification of the powertrain, including an F-150 and a Mustang that are coming in two police pursuit vehicles. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's an exciting, it's an exciting uh, time to be in electrified vehicles. Thanks for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for more great coverage from CS 2017.